Good Sunday morning. The U.S. Surgeon General calls it the defining public health crisis of our time, mental health. One in five adults experience mental illness every year. Depression rates are at an all-time high. A third of adults report being diagnosed with depression sometime during their lifetimes, a figure that is rising. Nearly 50,000 Americans died by suicide last year, more than any year on record. The president says we are falling short. In 2020, less than half, less than half of all adults with mental illness diagnosis received care for it. Less than half. For children, the number's even worse. Nearly 70 percent of our kids who seek care for mental health or addiction cannot get it. For all those brave enough and strong enough to seek help, and I mean that, brave enough and strong enough to seek help, we have to do better. In 2021, more than 12 million American adults thought about suicide. 1.7 million attempted it. The youth mental health crisis is overwhelming emergency rooms. Nearly 60 percent of high school girls reported <coughs> persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness. And for our nation's veterans, the crisis line is fielding a record number of cries for help. This morning in a special broadcast on the nation's mental health crisis, we will have a conversation about all of it. How do we talk about mental health? How do we access treatment and care? And maybe most importantly, how do we pay for it? Thanks for watching. Stay up. Thanks for watching. Stay up. <clears throat> Shalom. Brother Kabbalah, back to the GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, they give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. <clears throat> Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Teach us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. And now shall among all the sincere argument throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity and now shall along to all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh Shai, not just heads of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, hopefully like Shalom. All right, and um, as you can see, <clears throat> mental illness and suicide rates, all these are because of wicked is ruling. All right, and it's all uh, orchestrated, you know, to, to fill the pockets, you know, me just speaking as a man. Of Esau Edom, you know, causing the people to go crazy. Then what? They get them on all types of meds, all right, different different types of witchcraft, which these meds have uh, uh, side effects and makes people want to, to uh, delete themselves. And for you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, we are to be uh, uh, seeking your how about you, shy, finding comfort and uh, peace within these scriptures. But this is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, who's in authority right now? You got to ask yourself that. What nation of people are in authority? It says, <clears throat> Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The people will, will be happy. All right. It says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that's the state you see everyone on the planet Earth in because of this deceiver. All right. The self-proclaimed -pro so-called white man whose biblical nationality goes back to a man named Edom. Okay. Just like the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians by process of elimination go back to Israel. Go back to a man named Israel who's... Who, who, his name was Jacob, but his name was changed to Israel. All right? <clears throat> the good and the bad. And that's how you can tell that they are in power. One, another way you can tell they're in power. Job, the ninth chapter, also says that uh, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where? Who is he? That's the Edomites. That's the so-called white men. <clears throat> And it was given to them by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who you even call God in Jesus Christ. So, <clears throat> that's why you see things are the way they are. Because the wicked, not the righteous, the wicked is ruling. And scriptures tell us to uh, those who are troubled to rest with us, man. Is that 1 Thessalonians? No, that's 2 Thessalonians 1. <clears throat> 
This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1, I started 6. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God, with the Most High Yahweh, to recompense tribulation to them that troubled you. Now, who has troubled us? Esau, Edom, the wicked. Okay? Through all types of ways, man. This man has set up uh, systematic racism to where you're, you, because of who you are as an Israelite. <clears throat> um, you don't, you know, you don't get the best of the best. You know, you get the worst of the worst. All right, you can't get no, uh, you know, no credit, no nothing, man. No, no decent homes, houses, cars, nothing, man. You know, Jake pays double for what Edom might have paid half for. But hey, that's the curses. We deserved it. You know, we deserved it. We transgressed against our heavenly Father. Up until this very day, that's why it's very important to turn back to him with all you have. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians 1 and 16 is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to, the, to them that troubled you. So uh, uh, the Lord is going to pay back Esau and as well as the other nations. But Esau is in rulership right now, the wicked. Verse 7, here's the point. And, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. <clears throat> it says, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. <clears throat> All right. So look, those who are troubled, right, don't run to this man's uh, um, um, med system, popping pills and all that mad that's 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 not the rest the rest is within these scriptures man right romans 15 and 15 i believe it is romans 15 romans 15 and what is that four i think <clears throat> this is romans 15 and four it says for whatsoever things were written before time was written for our learning right the wisdom knowledge understanding it says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope See, the comfort lies within these scriptures. Okay? Comfort relies uh, within these scriptures, man. You know, they're talking about what, what can they do to stop mental illness. Well, we got to take the one who's mentally ill out. That's Esau Edom. He's the he's the virus. He's the the cancer. He's the 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 the, the cancer of the earth, man. This dude has to go. Everything he stands for. Because it has 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 done nothing to uh uh, uh to better you Israelites, man. Let's grab one more and wrap it up. <clears throat> This book of Obadiah, chapter one, which is only one, is uh, one chapter. <clears throat> this is Obadiah one and eighteen says, "In the house of Jacob should be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame." Right, the twelve tribes of Israel, the southern and northern kingdom, and the house of Esau for stubble, the so-called white man, and they shall kindle with them. And devour them, and there should be none remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. See, this is that uh, uh, recompense that the Lord is going to do upon Edom. And this has not happened yet, but this will happen in our lifetime. For all the wickedness, for all the pain and trauma he has caused the Israelites. Right? It's, it's going to be as a dream. Okay? Let me see here. If I can't find it, I'm just going to wrap it on up. Um, hmm. That's not what I want. Uh, uh, how does it go? Um... <clears throat> uh, Revelation 21 and 4 
It says, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from thy from their eyes. Whose eyes? The Israelites. Okay? It says, and there should be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Because upon this man's rulership, upon the hands of the wicked, we go through all these things. All right? Constant tears, constant death, constant sorrow and crying. All right? It says, neither should there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to experience uh, uh, mournings. Okay? We're going to be straight rejoicing. But it starts with us what coming back to who we are as a people, acknowledging our power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And only the elect on this side is going to get it. And that's who we do these lessons for. But two thirds, they're going to get it in the kingdom and they're going to they're going to understand. All right. But the point of this lesson was that, yes, the uh, <laughs> Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear wood, people mourn. That's why you see suicide rates up. All right, people all talk about depression pills. All right, because what this man is ruling, and the reason why people are on these things, because the way this man is managing the earth, and the Lord's gonna take this man out of it, man. And he's gonna wipe away all our tears, all our pains, and that's something to look forward to. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. The honors are possible as a great millstone. Shalom.